Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs, and today I am so excited to be showing you this. For one, there's a new Courtney's Customs bundle, and let me show you guys the colors. If y'all are a part of my Facebook group, then you saw me announce this uh, probably like a week ago, but look how gorgeous. I told y'all in the last video that I'm on a pastel kick. These are not any of the same colors that I used in that Aztec print video. These are all completely different colors, but they are still very beautiful and pastel. I am going to have a list of every name of the color because you can buy most of the colors separately except for this yellow. This is a Courtney's Customs exclusive that you will only get in this bundle, but every other color can be purchased separately if you want like more of the other. Also, I'm super excited because I am using, y'all, the most gorgeous vinyl, oh my gosh, I think I've ever had. This is a like holographic cheetah leopard. Y'all, I get that confused, but cheetah leopard print, whatever. Um, but it's a holographic and it's clear. So you put it on a tumbler and the only thing that's going to show up is all of the holographic animal prints. So I am combining two things that I am just so super excited about. The Courtney's Customs Bundle glitter and my new vinyl to create this tumbler. I'm super excited, so let's get started. So I'm working with a 20 ounce skinny straight and I base painted it flat white from Rust-Oleum. So what I did over here was I mixed up some tacky glue and water just like I did in the previous video because I'm adding so many different colors at once, the Mod Podge is gonna dry up way too quickly and I don't like to do the epoxy method. So the tacky glue and water method is perfect. So now I am just going to cover the entire tumbler in this tacky glue and water solution. And this just gives me a much longer working time if you didn't see the previous video. I do take the tacky glue, which is made by Aline, so it's Aline's tacky glue, and I mix it with a little bit of water. I would say probably like half and half mixture of glue and water. And I make it about the consistency of Mod Podge so I can spread it easy because it is like a really super thick glue. So I water it down so I can spread it and it works perfectly. I just have a much longer working time. So now I'm just going to take all of these glitters in no particular order and sprinkle some here and there all over the tumbler until it's completely covered. Okay, so now that all of these beautiful pastels are on, I'm going to seal it with two times Rust-Oleum Clear and then pop it on my turner back here from Bama Cups, add two coats of epoxy, and then I'll come back to show y'all how gorgeous this vinyl is going to look. Okay, so there's two coats of epoxy over this, and the color is so hard to see on camera, but in person it is such a beautiful, like, soft pastel collection of colors. So... I'm going to give it a quick sanding, and sorry for this cord right here, it's driving me nuts that it's in film, but it's like super, super cold today, so I have two heaters running while I'm in here, <laughs> so this is the cord to my extra heater, I'm so sorry, it's driving me nuts and it won't stay over there. So this is an 80 grit sanding block from Amazon, I'll have a link for them down in my description, and I'm just going to give it a quick sand. Now I'm just taking some 91% rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and wiping it clean because it does get a little dusty when you sand it. So I'm just getting that nice and clean. So now for the super fun part, we are going to apply this vinyl. After I posted a video with this vinyl on my TikTok and Instagram and Facebook group, um, it sold out very, very quickly. I do have more of this coming, so keep an eye out for that. But are just going to wrap it around and this is roughly a 12 by 12 sheet so clearly it's you know it's going to be too big so I have this little um, paper cutter here that I got from Amazon and I am just kind of like looking to see like I'm looking in there and seeing where the paper folds and I'm like okay I can cut it about there I'm going to give myself a little bit of wiggle room now now this is how I like to cut my vinyl when I'm doing full wraps, so I know I'm getting like a good clean cut. 
So that might not be enough. But, you know, you can't put more back on, but you can take more away. So I tend to take a while to do this because I do, like, such a little bit at a time. Because I'm so afraid that I am going to cut off too much. So now it's time to cut at this point. And I think I'm going to take a pen and give myself a little marker to go off of in here. If I can get it. So I was able to mark, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker so I can see right there. So that's where I am going to cut. I'm actually gonna not cut it quite to right there. I'm gonna still give myself some wiggle room. I get nervous when I cut things. Okay, so now that I have it just about perfect, I am going to show you guys a super easy way to apply a full vinyl wrap. I like to lay down a towel or something to help the cup not roll around. And I'm going to start on one side and peel back a couple inches or so and fold it. And now I'm going to cut off that couple inches that I folded up. So now I'm left with about a couple inches with no backing on it. So now I'm going to lay my tumbler down sideways like so. I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame for y'all. And I'm going to take this couple inches that has no backing on it and just line it up really good from top to bottom. Lay that down. Make sure there's no wrinkles or bubbles or anything in it. And then take the rest, wrap it around, make sure it looks good, which it looks pretty good. And now I am just gonna start slowly working this all around the tumbler. And you can use, I tried using a, um, like a, a squeegee to kind of like push it but it was giving me more trouble with like wrinkles and bubbles so I just like to use my fingers and just do like a half an inch at a time push a little bit flatten it all out push a little bit flatten it all out and keep doing this all around the tumbler until it is covered Okay, so now I'm going to go around with a pair of scissors and just trim up the top. And this is so pretty, and when I have it done, I'm going to take it outside so you guys can see it in the light. But it's really super pretty. So now the only thing I'm going to do, because it's on there really nice and smooth, is pop it on the turner, add a couple coats of epoxy, and then I'll come back to show y'all the finished result. So it's the next day. There's one coat of epoxy over this. I am going to put more, but I think it is so pretty. So let me take you outside so I can show you like a really good look at the colors and the natural light. It is so beautiful, so subtle. I absolutely love this vinyl. And let me show you a couple more tumblers over here that I've made with this vinyl. Not tutorials, but they will be on my website. So they're obviously not finished. They need to stand it with some more epoxy. But here is that same vinyl that I put over um, a blush base from Pop of Color. And then I put that same vinyl over a black base and I used Courtney's Customs vinyl. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but it says know your worth, then add tax. I love it. So these aren't finished, but just to give you an idea of like how versatile the vinyl is, you can do so many different looks just by putting it over different base colors. And I'm obsessed with it. So like I said, I am out of this. I posted a TikTok and it went like that. So I'm going to be getting some more in 
probably within like the next 10 business days or so. So about a couple of weeks. So I'm very excited to do a restock of this vinyl and a restock of some others that went out of stock really quick and add some new styles as well that I am so excited to show you guys. Before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day and today's quote is, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. That was said by Mae West. That is all I have for y'all today. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you love the vinyl. I'm so obsessed with it. I can't, I just want to put it on everything. So if y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!